here is a lung. Here is a large lymph node uh, near the hilum of the lung. Here's another one. Here's another one. Notice that the uh, normal sort of anthracotic character of the hilar lymph node is replaced in areas by uniform white uh, firm nodules. But you don't know they're firm unless you touch them. Uh, but you do know that on the basis of this size, you would suspect that something was wrong here. And if there was a carcinoma in this lung and you saw lymph nodes like this, you would instantly assume this was metastatic carcinoma. So uh, let's look at this lymph node under the uh, microscope. And uh, you can see quickly that there is an area out here that kind of looks like normal blue lymphocytes and maybe even out here as well but most of the lymph node is replaced by nodules which even at this power don't look as blue as your normal lymphoid tissue and uh, let's uh, look at it and try to figure out why well you could see lymphocytes out here. You could see some other type of tissue here. So this would be a good area to zip in on. So uh, let's zip in on it a little bit more. Here's lymphocytes, normal looking. And here is the area in question, which we think might be tumor. And sure enough, it looks like tumor because it just is malignant from all of the cytologic criteria. You have big, irregular, dark, bumpy cells, some of them with really large nucleoli, uh, and they are very pleomorphic and very hyperchromatic. And uh, around here, it's practically all nuclei. Look how the nucleoli are so large over here. These are malignant cells. The plus, because they're cohesive, they do not look lymphoid. They look like they're epithelial. If they were to form nice glands, we could call this adenocarcinoma. If they produced uh, something that looked like keratin, we could call it squamous cell carcinoma. But unfortunately, no matter where you go in this lymph node, and I'll click on two or three more random places, you can see lymphocytes here, lymphocytes here, and all this stuff is tumor here. Let's go to another place. You can see in this area, uh, perhaps there's some lymphoid cells out here and here, but this whole zone here, is nothing but tumor cells with all of the classical features of malignancy. Uh, if this was a lung primary, this uh, type of tumor does not form glands, does not form keratin, doesn't look like oat cells or small cells. So it looks epithelial though. So this is the type of lung cancer we call a metasta uh, metastatic undifferentiated large cell carcinoma. And like adenocarcinomas and like squamous cell carcinomas, it is not oat cell. So this is also known as non-small cell carcinoma. And if you were to do a whole bunch of markers on these cells, you would see that sometimes they share a lot of markers with adenocarcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma. So that's why the adenocarcinomas, the squamous cell carcinomas, and these large cell carcinomas are all lumped in as non a, a small cell carcinomas. And indeed, they behave similarly, and indeed, they may respond to uh, the same types of chemo. But in general, if this was at one time an adenocarcinoma or a squamous cell carcinoma, it is not differentiated enough now to be recognized as such. So this is the third most common type of non-small cell carcinoma of the lung after adenocarcinoma and after squamous cell carcinoma. And this is what they call large cell undifferentiated carcinoma. Thank you very much.